In this video, I'm gonna go over why I think the Federal Reserve is finished raising interest rates and why they paused, and also what trillion dollar asset managers are saying about the ETFs. If you wanna see what we're doing with our cryptos, check us out and the link is below for our CT Club where you get our trade alerts portfolio and you can see what we said today and what we bought today as well. To begin this, Will Clement has this. One million whole coiners on the Bitcoin network. Yes, that means there's one million addresses out there that have one or more Bitcoin, which is pretty incredible considering like 10 years ago when I started this, there was hardly anybody on this. So this is just pretty telling of where we're heading right now. Now let's go over to what the Federal Reserve is actually doing, okay? And why I think they're finished raising rates. Fed Dally, two or more rate hikes is only a projection and we don't know for sure. Steven Hendricks said, LOL, backpedaling all over the place already. Seriously, they can't even stick with their hawkish statement for even a week. Now we have Fed's Bostic say, saying, I favor no more rate hikes for the rest of the year. Guys, They've paused, and if we want to look back at history, the Federal Reserve just doesn't pause and then the next month just raise rates again. Uh, it just doesn't happen. You know, if history repeats itself, the Fed is done raising rates, okay? Yes, and that means much more currency printing. Next, we have the Federal Reserve Chairman saying that crypto appears to be have staying power as an asset class. Just more bullish things that are coming out because the Wall Street crew, the black suits are in the game, all right? They've been buying the dips and they haven't been mentioning that. And I just tweeted today that, hey, I think that the Federal Reserve and all their cronies have been buying the dips, especially with this FTX uh, news coming out. And we could see this accumulation phase rising and rising as the price kept creeping up. That is the Federal Reserve and all their buddies buying. Next, we have Cameron Winklevoss saying the great accumulation of Bitcoin has begun. Anyone watching the flurry of ETF filings understands the window of purchasing pre-IPO Bitcoin before ETFs go live and open the floodgates is closing fast. That means you gotta hurry. That's what we've been saying. If Bitcoin was the most obvious and best investment uh, of the previous decade, this will likely be the most obvious and best trade of this decade. And I absolutely agree. I think the door is closing. And if you wanna look at the video that I did last Saturday, that gets into more detail of what this means. Next up, we have Bob Diamond, the CEO of Barclay saying, uh, now keep, on, keep in mind, Barclay it has $1.9 trillion in assets under management. He says, I love seeing some of the mainstream firms getting involved in crypto like BlackRock. Yes, these guys have been buying and now is the time to tell everybody that yes, they are interested and crypto is not going anywhere. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit of trouble for people that want to be able to send Bitcoin to wherever they want to send it in the future. If Watch my last video for that. Now the, next we have the IMF. You know how they were cracking down with El Salvador saying, you know, this is pretty risky what they're doing. So here's what the IMF says that Bitcoin bans are ineffective. It means they wanna regulate the crap out of Bitcoin, right? Yes, that's exactly what's gonna happen. So all those people that want regulations, you're gonna get it. Next, we have JJ Cycles on Twitter saying, I'm waiting for a pullback and then I'll buy, in quotations, says the entire world right now. Yes, it's pretty unbelievable. I have friends and chat groups and stuff that I, I've been in. These people have been around Bitcoin for a very long time and they have mostly been sitting on the sidelines. Unbelievable, but you know what? Like I said, this is gonna be the loneliest bull market we have ever seen. Which means that most people are going to be sitting on the sidelines waiting for you know the price to drop to like 25, 24. I don't think we're gonna go under 25 for this entire cycle. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very long time, if ever, that we see $25,000. I could be wrong, whatever, but that's just my thoughts, especially with what's happening with all the ETFs, okay? And plus, these people that are waiting on the sidelines are gonna be buying 
much, much higher. So you know the SEC is supposed to trying to protect you and, and everything? Well, they just approved the first leveraged futures ETF Bitcoin, Bitcoin ETF, uh, which means that they don't have to hold real Bitcoin. It's just paper derivatives. So people can manipulate the crap out of Bitcoin. Yes, but the SEC really loves you and cares for you. Lastly, we have BlackRock CEO Larry Fink saying hits at our website was 3,000 for monetary policy and 600,000 for Bitcoin. Guys, the door is closing. I am sharing with you what I'm doing with our CT club um, and we have been pounding the door saying, please, you know, consider this a great buying opportunity in this accumulation phase that we've been having since November. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.